Hey, good morning, city kids. Oh, Miss Missy here. Mondays with Miss Missy. And I miss you so much. Hope you're having a great time at home with your family. Um, yeah. And I hope you had a great weekend. It's Monday now, so we just had a great weekend. In fact, it was a holiday weekend. Wow, happy belated 4th of July. Um, yeah, when we could celebrate the freedom of our country that we were free from some bad leaders over in England. So our country became free, and so we celebrate that. That's, that's great. Thank God that we have a free country. So I hope you guys had a really, really great weekend. Um, just wondering what you did. I got outside a lot. I know it was really, really super hot. And no, I didn't go swimming, but I took a lot of walks and I um, rode my bike. But on my walks, I noticed some stuff. Um, first thing I noticed because where I was walking was pretty shady. So I noticed the trees and I like to look at trees. It's really weird, but I think trees are smart because they grow up and they reach towards the sun. Oh, and then that makes me think of Jesus, the son of God. So I think they're smart because they grow towards the sun. But really though, think about a tree. All right, and above ground we can see the tree and how it all spreads out. And it's just huge and provides all this shade. It provides like nest for critters, birds, and stuff. But in order for that tree to stand up and be able to stay up, it has a huge root system in it. And that made me think of Jesus as well because when we are rooted in Him and we live and we grow in Him, We'll be able to stand strong like that tree so but that's not even what I was thinking about during my walk I was just kind of reflecting and thinking about my own freedom and of course my freedom in Jesus and then I thought about the story um, way way back in the Old Testament whenever Moses was alive and at that time um, God's children were actually under Pharaoh and so um, in Exodus, it talks about how they escaped. And if you escape from something, then that must mean you were enslaved, right? When you escape from something, then you become free. And so I was thinking about this story in Exodus um, when God got his people out from underneath that mean leader. And they've been enslaved for a while, okay? Some of them, that's all they ever knew. So they didn't know life beyond being in Egypt. God didn't let them get them out from Pharaoh just and say, okay, just go. I mean, he, he had a, a promised place, a promised land for them, a great land, a place where the it was just supposed to be really great for them. And he didn't just pat them on their little bottoms and say, okay, go on now. Just, just go. No, he did not what God did during the day and then and it I thought about this because when I was taking my walk um, you know I looked up to the skies and I seen the clouds up there and that's exactly what God did during the day and the Bible tells us that he provided a big pillar like a cloud during the day for the people to follow him um, and then at night when it was too dark of course they wouldn't be able to see that cloud so God provided again and he provided like this pillar of fire. If any of you guys have a fire pit at your house, um, like maybe out in your backyard, and when do you light that? During the day? Probably not, unless you're gonna grill your hot dogs by it for lunch or something, but you probably, your parents, light it at night. And you guys sit out there, roast some marshmallows or something, make some s'mores. But God provided that pillar of fire during the day, uh, night, I mean, so that they could see where to go as they traveled. So, cool thing about this story that we can relate and we can learn and we can think is there's going to be times in our life when we're not going to know what to do, where to go. And this story can remind us that God will lead us. We just need to ask and follow Him. Just keep following Him. So, I hope that encourages you today. Um, 
I'm trying to think if I have any new news for you. I don't. I already told you I'm going to be a Mimi. Um, have you found my little friend yet during this time I've been talking to you? I've had somebody hidden somewhere here. So I hope you can find him. Um, but yeah, Fridays are, are Zoom game time. So make sure that you guys get uh, email your parent email in a kid, uh, kids at citycenterchurch.com to get signed up to play those games 10 o'clock on Fridays and then I'm working on a little something like for a story time not sure which day but I love to read books I don't know anybody raise your hand if you like to read books I like to read books so I found some really cool books lately that I want to read to you to share them with you I love to share so I'm gonna figure out a day and a time and I'll let you know though okay and I'll share these books with you uh, that I have found um, so yeah. Alrighty, well, City Kids, Mondays with Miss Missy is coming to a close. Hope you have a good rest of your Monday or whichever day that you happen to be watching this. Just remember that Jesus loves you and talk to him every day. All right? Your life has purpose. So be the best that you can be through him. All right? Bye.